Namibia, known for its endless expanses, barren lunar landscape and priceless biodiversity. Originally known as German Southwest Africa, it was arguably the most important colony of the German Empire. And the colonial heritage still plays a decisive role today. Not only in culture, until today there are many German street names, beer gardens, houses in German style and in many schools German is taught. No, also the geography of Namibia was influenced by the Germans. Indeed, if we look at Namibia on the map, we notice that in the northeast of the country there is a strip more than 500 kilometers long, which otherwise does not really seem to fit the shape of the country. This strip is called the Caprivi Strip and there is an exciting story surrounding it. So how did Namibia's unusual shape come about and what exactly do the Germans have to do with it? We took a look at all of these questions in today's video. Enjoy! The foundation stone for the colonization of Southwest Africa was laid by the Bremen merchant Adolf Lüderitz. He was the first German to acquire land in the region in 1883. And it benefited him greatly that the German Empire was now showing more and more interest in colonization and therefore declared a protective rule over the acquired territories. And with the backing of the German Emperor, the territory could expand further and further to the north and east. Later, an imperial commissioner and a protective force were also sent to the area. Thus, by 1890, the area of southwest Africa nearly covered the territory of present-day Namibia. Due to the strong expansion in southwest Africa, however, the Germans also came into increasing competition with the British. The latter also pushed deeper and deeper into the African continent from the colony of South Africa. The British entrepreneur Cecil Rhodes became one of the leading players in the race for Africa and developed the Cape Cairo Plan. The plan stated that Great Britain should have a continuous territory stretching from the north of Egypt to the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. However, this contradicted German plans to create a land bridge between German Southwest Africa and German East Africa. And there were disputes between the two great powers elsewhere as well. The British had long claimed the island of Zanzibar, located off the coast of the colony of German East Africa. And Germany was thorn on the flesh that the British owned the island of Helgoland, just off the coast of Germany. The island seemed to be strategically extremely important for the German fleet, since it offered a central base in the North Sea and from there one could blockade the port of Hamburg. And so there were negotiations and finally a swap deal between the German Empire and Great Britain. In this treaty, the German acknowledged British rule over Zanzibar and in return Germany received the island of Helgoland and access to the Sambesi, the fourth longest river in Africa. And so the Capri Strip was created, now stretching from the colony of German Southwest Africa to the Sambesi River. And later it was named after the German Imperial Chancellor Caprivi, who led the treaty negotiations with the British. The acquisition of this territory seemed to be an important step to connect the two colonies on the west and east coast of Africa. But the German plan was quickly destroyed by the British. Only one year later, before the Germans had even explored the Caprivi Strip, Cecil Rhodes acquired a vast territory for the British, which later became known as Rhodesia. This made a line of communication impossible and also decreased the interest of the Germans in the Caprivi Strip. So it was not until 1909 that the territory was first explored and the leader of the expedition came to the conclusion that this malaria infested Caprivi Strip should have been exchanged for something valuable. And so this region was never really colonized. In 1915, during World War I, it fell to the South African military administration, as did the rest of German Southwest Africa. And South Africa retained sovereignty until Namibia's independence in 1990, and independent Namibia only renamed the region from Caprivi to Sambesi in 2013. So even though the German name is now also history, the geography of Namibia is still determined by the former colonial policy. Meanwhile, the region is considered an important tourist hotspot because the green tropical landscape there is in stark contrast to the rest of Namibia, which consists mainly of deserts. Numerous national parks have been established there, where you can observe a wide variety of animals. So, that was with the video. If you enjoyed it, I also recommend you my last video. Just click here and see you there.